Hey everyone, welcome to Effects Creation. Today we are going to create this. So let's get started. First open After Effect, and create a new composition. This is called Main Comp. Then create a new solid layer, this is our background layer. Now we have some elements, and import falling fog footage into the timer line. I don't want our fog cover entire composition, so select Pen tool and create a mask like this. Hit double M to show mask property, and change mask feather around 800 pixels. Now select fog layer and apply tint effects, and change white color with light blue color. Then apply fast blur effects, and change the blur radius around 5. Now select fog layer and duplicate, and rotate the layer and move the layer bottom side of the composition. Then select both layer and change the opacity 60%. Cool. Then select both layer and pre-compose them, and this is our smoke comp. Now duplicate this comp layer, right click, go to transform, and select flip horizontal. That's look perfect. Now I want to create our text, so create a new composition, and this is our text comp. Then create one more composition, this is our text placeholder comp, then select text tool and type your text, then go to text comp and import text placeholder comp into the timer line, and duplicate this text placeholder layer, change the first text layer name bevel, then search and apply fill effect, change the fill color black, then search bevel alpha effect, light intensity 1, and light angle minus 20 degrees. Cool. Now select the second text layer and rename it as white. Because this is our white text layer comp. Now create one more composition. This is our bump map composition. Then import bump map into the timer line, and search motion tile effect. Output width, and output height 500. Then go to text comp and import bump map composition into the timer line. And turn off the layer. Now create one more composition. This is our reflection comp. And import reflection image into the timer line. Now resize it little bit. Now I am going to animate the position, so. Go to first frame and add a keyframe, then go to around 10 second forward and move the X position like this. Cool. Now go to again text comp, and import reflection comp into the timer line. Then search CC glass effect. Open surface and change the bump map with our bump map layer. Height minus 5 and displacement minus 500. Then search CC Blobalize effect, and blob layer, text placeholder white layer, and cut away 0, and softness, 5. Now search set matte effect, and change take matte layer, our text placeholder white layer. Turn off the placeholder white layer, and change the placeholder bevel layer mode normal to add. Now here you can see our text effect. Cool. That's look perfect. Now go to the main comp, and import our text comp into the timer line. Now I am going to add some flame footage. 
So import flame footage into the timeline. Select the flame layer and apply tint effect, and change the white color with red color. Now duplicate the flame layer, and resize it like this. Then search fast blur effect, change blur dimensions horizontal, and blur radius 5. Then search curve effect, and make your curves like this. That's look perfect. Copy curve effect, and paste the first flame layer. Now I need to animate our text layer, so go to around 10 frames forward, and add a keyframe, then go to the first frame, change the X position like this. I think I should move the first keyframe, so our text came fast. Cool. Then select both keyframe and easy ease them, and adjust your graph like this. Also turn on the motion blur of the text layer. Then open text comp, and turn on the motion blur of all layers, here you can see the motion blur effects. Great, that's look perfect. You can adjust the keyframe anytime. Now I want to animate opacity of the text layer, so go to around 6 frame forward when our text visible into the composition. And add a keyframe, and change the opacity 0%, then go to next frame and change opacity 100%, again go to 4 to 5 frame forward and add a keyframe, then go to next frame and change the opacity 0%, then go to the next frame and change the opacity 100%, do the same animation one more time. Great, that's look perfect. Now I want to add flare bottom side of the text. So create a new solid layer. And search optical flares. You can download this from Video Copilot website, change the layer mode normal to screen, and move the flares bottom side of the text, then go to effect control panel, and go to options, and select streak flares, and remove the spike ball flares. Then adjust the scale and brightness according to our text and also change the color which match with our flame color. Now animate the opacity of the flare. So go to around 10 to 11 frame forward and add a keyframe on opacity, and change opacity 0%, then go to few frame forward and change the opacity 100%, also we can add expression on opacity, so hold alt and click on stopwatch icon and add wiggle expression, wiggle bracket 2 comma 10 bracket close. I think I need to change frequency amount from 2 to 5. Cool. Now select both flame layer and duplicate them, and move them together and also move the both layers around one second forward. And scale our big flame footage. Now I want to add one more text under the flare, so duplicate the text layer. Then go to project window and duplicate the text comp, then hold alt and drag text to comp over the duplicate text comp layer, then open text to comp. Now we also need to replace our text placeholder. So go to project window, and duplicate text placeholder comp, then hold alt and drag text placeholder 2 comp over the are both text placeholder 1 comp. Now open any one text placeholder and change your text. 
select text to comp and delete both position keyframe, and move the text below the first text. And add a keyframe, then go to 3 to 4 frame back and change the X position like this. Cool. And you can also adjust the all keyframe as you like. Now select both position keyframe and easy ease them. And adjust your graph like this. Now I have a small smoke element, so import smoke element into the timeline. Change mode screen. And adjust when our text visible into the composition. And also duplicate one more time and just move the lay a little bit forward. Now create a new solid layer, and change mode screen, and search tint effect, and change the black color with blue color like this. Now select pen tool and create a mask like this. Hit double M for mask property, and change mask feather 800 pixels. and also decrease the layer opacity 30%. Cool. That's look perfect. Our animation has done. Let's see the preview. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.